Sometimes new Linux users are driven away by insults and angry responses when they ask a question. This needs to stop. Before we get started, I want to give an extra special thank you to my second slash bin contributor, Arknos. Please let me know if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. Thank you so much for contributing to my channel and helping me contribute to the Linux community. Now, I don't know about you, but this is not only something I've encountered, but something I hear about all too often. Comments like, let me Google that for you, or RTFM, which means read the friendly manual. Only the F means another F word. I've had my fair share of angry devs go off the handle for asking or commenting on things both way in the past and even in recent months. To me, this isn't a very professional or mature approach to take when people are using your software, especially if you plan to keep users around. Sometimes the problem is simply not knowing the right question to ask or not knowing the terms used to describe your problem. This is part of the learning process and some lesser people on the internets might attack you over it. Don't worry about it. Haters gonna hate. Another issue is sometimes poor or complete lack of detailed documentation or very hard to find documentation. Sometimes it's even written in another language or very poorly written. I've even been blown off stating that the source code is available for me to view if I need answers. Okay, how does that help someone who doesn't understand the programming language used? My point here is that this is one side of the problem. Impatient people who, instead of just posting a link or a quick sentence to at least get you started, would rather just insult you because it's easier. I do understand that it can be frustrating when simple questions are asked over and over again, but there are ways to prevent that. Post obvious, clear documentation. If it's on a forum, make a sticky thread that stays at the top with the most asked questions. The other side of the problem can sometimes be the lazy user. Okay, maybe lazy is the wrong term. It could be someone who just wants to try Linux out with as little effort as possible to see if they like it or not. Sometimes it's also just someone who wants to install Linux with a web browser and surf the net and don't care about anything else. Ah, but now they want to install some other software like maybe a torrent client. But instead of doing a quick search in Google, or even in the package manager itself, they go online and ask, how do I install a torrent client? This is usually followed by tons of questions on which is best and where do I download it, etc. This is obviously from someone who has no idea how to use Linux package managers and repos. Now I'm not singling out any of my viewers here, but I've had several people ask me how to install software that they found on a website. And I'm talking about something that is available in pretty much every distro's repo. It's hard to fault them for it if they're coming from Windows, where they're used to searching for software and downloading it from different websites, but they didn't learn the basics of Linux. I'd like to compare it to learning to drive a car. Linux is the car. So Billy's never seen a car before. He wants to know how to use the car to get to work. He doesn't care about anything else. So I teach him and he learns the basics of starting the car, putting it in drive and going. I teach him the basics of road rules and the route to take to work. All is well and he can now get to work no problem. He doesn't care about any other feature of the car or how they work. But today he parked in a spot where he needs to back out of his parking spot and he doesn't know what to do because he only knows how to drive the car forward. He calls me and I explain he has to put the gear in reverse. No problem. Then it's dark out. He calls again to complain he can't see because it's too dark. So I explain to him how to turn on the headlights. Then he calls again saying that it's raining and he can't see again. And he's cold. So I explain how to use the wipers and how to work the heat in the car. You see how this could have been avoided? Billy could have learned more of the basics on his own and most of them by simply asking what all the switches and buttons are or try them and see what happens. But the best thing would be for him to, yes, read the friendly manual or even take the time to think about what possibilities might come up and Google what to do in those situations. There are many full Linux tutorials on websites and even on YouTube that will get, get you started from the ground up just like taking a driving lesson. This point I'm making is that you need to take the time to learn how something works if you want to use it. The easiest questions can always be searched and you'll find hundreds of answers. There's really no need to go on IRC or a forum to ask something that's probably already been asked and answered before. Once you feel more comfortable installing software, doing updates, configuring hardware, etc., you'll get to learn more of the terms and how things work. Then, when you really get stuck with a technical problem, at least you'll have more of an idea on the right question to ask. 
Usually for a legitimate question, you'll get some people responding, asking you to run certain commands in a terminal and posting the output. This is very important to remember. This is how they will help you, so pay attention to that command. Write it down. Have a look at what that command gave you. This helps others help you by giving them information they need to figure out the problem. Then, if you ever run into a similar problem, you can first try looking at this information yourself, and you might even spot a problem yourself without needing the help. It takes time to learn it all. It may feel overwhelming at first, but just carry on trying. The more you stick with it, the more you'll learn. I promise you that. Some communities will be much better at helping you than others, not because of the type of personalities they are, but some distros communities run at a higher skill level that might be too much for you. Even though I'm no longer using Ubuntu, they do still have some of the best ways to get help, like the Ubuntu forums and askubuntu.com. I'll link both of those sites in the description below. If you can't find a similar question with a solution, you could post your own question. Manjaro also has a great forum to find and receive help. Just remember that everyone was new at some point and has gone through this as well. Veteran Linux users should really remember this when someone is looking for help, so have a bit of patience. As for you new Linux users, ignore their haters and rude comments. Someone will help you, but please try to help yourself before asking. It will benefit you the most in the end. I'd like to give a special thank you to my patrons who are my producers for this channel, Carlos, Arknos, Carl, George, Matt, Kit, and Says. Thank you so much for your contributions, guys. If you'd like to contribute to my channel, please visit patreon.com slash dorian.slash or use the PayPal link in the description below. That's it for now, guys. Until next time, read the frickin' manual <laughs> and bash on.